Hey everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the fisherman's knot. So let's head over to the work table and take a look. The fisherman's knot seen here is a type of knot that's used to join two ropes together. These types of knots are called bends. There are many other knots that can be used to join or tie two ropes together. I highly recommend my video 24 Great Bend Knots. I'll provide a link in the description and at the end of this video. The single fisherman's knot is useful for small lines and it'll hold in slippery material. This makes it popular amongst fishermen for joining two lines. To tie the single fisherman's knot, begin with two ropes of equal diameter. Start by overlapping the two lines so that the working ends face the opposite directions. Wrap the first line around the second line to form a loop and then pass the working end through the loop to form an overhand knot. From there, repeat the process with the second line. Wrap it around the other line and form a loop. Then pass the working end through the loop to form an overhand. Slide the two knots together and cinch it up tight. The fisherman's knot creates a sliding knot and it's used in many paracord and rope crafts when an adjustable sliding knot is required. Note the up-down pattern of the tail ends of the knot and also the two parallel lines at the back of the knot. When tied correctly, the standing ends can be pulled so that the two overhand knots slide together neatly. Now let's look at how to tie the double fisherman's knot. The double fisherman's knot seen here is a stronger version of the fisherman's bend and has less tendency to slip. This knot and a triple wrap version are commonly used in rock climbing and mountaineering to tie two ropes together. To tie the double fisherman's knot, begin by overlaying the two lines so that the working ends face opposite directions. Wrap the first line around the second line twice, forming a double loop. Then pass the working end through the loop and cinch it up. From there, repeat the process with the second line. Wrap it around the other line twice and form a double loop. Then pass the working end through the loop and cinch it up. You'll notice the cross or X in each side of the knot. A proper fisherman's knot will have two knots meshing closely with the crosses on the same side, as well as the up-down pattern of the tail ends of the knot. So there you have it, the fisherman's knot. Now, as promised, here's a link to 24 great bend knots. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching.